What's up guys, it's True here on the Split Pick SMP and today, today we are over by the villager houses as you can see and we have some work to be doing over here. Now I've, I've started constructing a path over to the spawn town and it's, you know, it's getting there. I, I've got to get some more, I need to eat. I've got to get some more of the path laid down, and it's it's got to extend. But, I, you know, I've been getting the basic bare bones ideas down on the ground and starting to work with things. Obviously, the village needs to be a bit more populated before we have a reason to come out here. But I, I wanted to start working on, you know, give, giving myself some reasons as to why I might want to walk along here and the sort of things that, that might be going on. And I thought, as we were walking along here, there's this uh, this lovely little rise of ground here, and I, I've been thinking about this for a while, that actually I want to, to build some towers along the pathway so that we can, we can sort of, you know, have some defense against bandits or monsters or just somewhere to take respite when, uh, when, when nighttime comes if you're, you know, traveling the, the path. And so I thought we'd, uh, we'd get, get on working up here and building some uh, some towers. I, I think that's a good idea. At least one here for today. I'm gonna level down this bit of ground here and where's my shovel? Here it is. We're gonna level this bit of ground and the tower's gonna go around here. It's gonna overlap just a little bit over the edge and we're gonna have some nice overhang doing some support stuff underneath and then it's gonna come straight up and I've got a couple of different design ideas for the tower today so I'm going to try some of them out and uh, I'll bring you back after I've got a little bit built because you know how I like to do things. I like to get a little bit done before I show you what's going on and uh, I'll catch you all in a second. Peace. Okay, we're starting to get somewhere and you can see that I'm, I'm starting to take a shape out, carve a shape out here and basically what I'm trying to do is get the corners to, to rise up and, and point up and then what's going to happen is we're going to cut it in one block and it's going to raise up again on the inside and I'm just I'm just here to basically chuck a few a few mossy cobble oh no that's the wrong one uh, let's put that back in a few mossy cobble here and there because I just want to get the detail blocks in whilst I can because you know, I don't want to get too distracted and forget about that later. But also, I just wanted to see how it would all fit with these sort of things actually in it. And you know what? That looks good. At the moment, at the moment, there's still a little bit more to do. I think these should come up one block higher. And then we're going to go in one layer and start going up again. So I'll, uh, I'll build the next layer and I'll bring you back in again when we're done. Peace. Mmm, today is good. I have a Crushums. Anyone remember Crushums? The, uh, you know, the milkshakes that you, you could make at home. You just put the syrup in a glass and then add the milk. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. They used to not be vegetarian, and when I turned veggie, I couldn't have them for ages. But now, now I can, and it makes me happy. But, uh, yeah, the, the building, as it's going so far, starting to take shape. I'm actually really starting to like this. The bottom bit, please ignore for the time being. It needs a little bit of work doing to it. We've got to work the supports into the underside. But the structure on the this side, up here, the top side, definitely starting to take shape. Now, I'm not sure about those polished andesite blocks at the top, but I I like this as it is going so far. I think maybe... They should be... No, actually, you know what? They they will work. They'll work with what I've got in mind. I've just got to uh, pillar up a bit more with the, the stone bricks first, I think. And then we'll we'll have a look at what things look like. But it's, it's looking good. The inside's looking really nice. I really like the inside. I'll just show you that in a moment. If you see in here, please ignore this big wooden pole. It's obviously not supposed to be there in the finished piece. It's going to be up there with the others. But no, I really like this. I think I think it's starting to look like a nice space. And uh, I can't wait to get it finished and show you guys what it's going to look like afterwards. So I'll, uh, I'll get back to work and I'll see you all in a short while. Peace. Right, guys, I think it's time to take a step back and actually look at this from a distance because I've done a lot of work to this whilst we've uh, been cut away. 
So I'm not entirely sure how it's looking. And ah, you see, that's looking much better. I've done a lot of work on the underside with the support structure that I'm exceedingly pleased with. Then we cut in a couple of windows on the sides there and on the other side and extended these up at the top. And I wasn't sure if they would actually look good or not. So I just wanted to take a step back and have a look at it. And I think that's actually the shape that I was trying to get now. Not quite what I was trying to do. What I was trying to do, I would have needed a much bigger base at the beginning. But I've come to realize that now, and that's fine. So we can we can just work with what we've got. We uh, should do some stuff like putting a bed in there. And I need to get rid of some stuff out of my inventory. So what we, we need to be putting some details in and around to make it feel like it's lived in in a part of the world because that's what I like to do. So we're going to have a bed down in the bottom floor. Actually, well, we could have one up here now, couldn't we? We could have one there. But that's very cramped in. I don't actually like where that is. That's too cramped. We're not doing that. We're going to have a bed down here by the window so they can look out and see what's going on. And we're going to have some water on the other side and out here we're going to actually do where's my shovel did i put it in the there's my shovel <laughs> panicked myself for a moment then but that's okay what we're going to actually do is do a little bit of digging out the front here and we're going to flatten down this dirt outside just a little bit so like that and maybe even one further yeah, let's do it one further. And then what we're going to do, we're going to give them a little fire pit to stand around, basically. So they will have somewhere to keep themselves warm late at night, which I think is a very good idea. And hopefully that should be okay. I'm not going to use those. What we're going to do is we're going to have a little fire pit here. And I'm looking forward to this because I like fire pits. I think they're very cool. Okay, so one fire pit and let's give them, well, we'll go and get some stone stairs so they don't burn, but we'll give them some stairs as seating. I know, I know, not very imaginative. I could probably think of something better, but in fact, actually, you know what? Let's do something different. I've got a better idea. We're going to cut into the floor a little bit so it's lower down and shallower and... Uh, then we're going to do something with these stairs. I'll show you in just a sec. Right then, guys. I say that quite a lot, don't I? Why do I say right then, guys? That's a like a cutback normal for me. Anyway, look at this. We are starting to get there. We have, I think, the tower done. Not Maybe not the internals quite, but we've definitely got the externals done. And I've just built a staircase up to it. It's very simple at the moment. I don't think it really needed anything two over the top and polished. We've got a door in here now, a simple bed, you know, the, the simple stuff. We need to put a uh, couple of chests in here with some food, maybe some weaponry for the people who are defending it and some stuff up here, maybe some bows and arrows. And uh, I think we'll leave the top space up here empty because there's not much room and they'll want it for walking around. Other than that, we also did this small little campfire with a couple of uh, cobblestone seating arrangements here for people to use and uh, I think I think this is pretty cool. We can do a bit more on the internals next episode I think and uh, I think we shall uh, you know definitely come back and revisit this whilst we're going past with the the pathway which is something I've got to start working on soon at least between episodes because it's going to take me quite a while to get done and I mean all we've got is that little bit over there so uh, we definitely have some work to do there. Anyway I think this has been a wonderful, wonderful mission today. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I have... Where's, where's my hands? There we go. I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. I think we've built something that's maybe not too over the top or, or extreme looking, but definitely interesting and uh, something a bit different. So, you know, I like it. I think it's definitely something that was worth doing and it's going to help me to come back here. But we're definitely, I think, running on for time for the episode. So I shall have to call it here. Say, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Be excellent to each other. I am Root. Peace. Okay, guys, I've done all the little prep bits that we needed to do. I've uh, got everything ready. I've, yeah, we've, we've got some wheat down here. Oh, the details are done looking mighty mm -hmm. fine at the moment.
to me anyway. Yeah. I don't know why. It's just jumping out at me. <laughs> but no, I know you know, I'm happy thing. anyway. I can yeah. go wherever. I know. I think one of these mountains we were going to do kind of a uh, colonist Mount Rushmore kind of thing. Oh, wow. I'm not sure which one it was. It was brought up. 